Okay, this week we're going to learn some basic toolbar changes that you can apply. As you can see, I pulled up both screens of Microsoft Word. We have the version 2007 at the top, and at the bottom I have Microsoft Word prior to 2007. I'm going to go through how you do different things on this. This will be good for those students that haven't seen 2007 yet, because in 2007 they kind of get away from menu-driven um, changes, and they use strictly the toolbar um, to make your changes. So in the assignment called 20 questions, you are going to answer some questions that I put out there for you, and then you're going to apply some changes using the toolbar. If you want to bold text, you are going to use in both versions, it's just represented by the capital B on the toolbar. If you want to change the font size, in this case, it shows 11. You can just pull this down, and it will let you change it to whatever number you want. That's the same thing here. Change the color of your text. In both cases, it's represented by the capital A, the font color. Pull down your arrow, and it'll let you change it. In 2007, it's right here. Underline the text is a capital U and the capital U here. What is nice about 2007 is it will let you pull down this arrow and let you change to different versions of underlining without going to a menu. If you are using something prior to 2007, you have to pull down the menu format, font, and then the underline and pull down your arrow and it gives you different options other than just a basic underlying text with a black solid line. To italicize, it is a capital I on both toolbars. To center align the text, we are looking at both toolbars as right here is center align, right here is center align. If you want to insert a standard bullet before text, it is right here on the this toolbar and it is right here on this toolbar. If you want to insert a custom bullet, again, you just pull down the arrow on 2007 and it will let you define your new bullet and go out and do it by symbol or picture or font. If you are not using 2007, you have to go through Format, Bullets and Numbering, click on a bullet and hit Customize, and you have some options there of how to do your bullet on changing the font or using a symbol. If you want to change the font to a style of your choice other than Times New Woman, then you are going to find it both places. Right here is the option 2007 is right here. And you just, if I ask you to type in a certain font style, if you just go and start typing that font style in, it will pop up to the place that you want it to be. For example, if I wanted you to use Bookman Old Style, just start typing it and it'll pull up. Now on any assignment that I tell you to type and your, your version does not have that, just pick something that looks close to it and that will be fine. A strike through on Microsoft 2007 is represented right here. If you do a strike through prior to that, you have to go to Format, you have to go to Font, and you have to click on the effects of strike through right here. Right align text is here and here. And change case. If you have typed something in all lowercase and decide that you want to put it in all uppercase or capitalize the first letter and not the rest, you do format, you do change case, and it gives you your options here. In 2007 again, you simply go right here, pull down your arrow, and it says change case. You can do it wherever you, which one you want. As you can see, 2007 is much easier to maneuver around than prior versions. Copy and paste, you're going to use the cut fit feature here, the little pair of scissors, same thing in 2007. And then when you are finished cutting what you want, you simply paste it on with the clipboard here or the clipboard here. 
I think this takes you through all the toolbars that you'll need to change to apply on the 20 question exercise. Remember at any time that you don't know an answer to something, you can go click on the question mark on e any version of Microsoft Word product and it will let you type in what you want to do. So if I click on this, it will bring up mine. help, I type in what I want to search for and it will go find my answer for